What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial or walkthrough through the 2018 uh, final exam. We've just done question 3 and we're going to go into question 4 now. Okay, so question 4 is mostly about forces. Okay, so let's read the question. An athlete trains by pushing a heavy uh, box A with a mass of 23 kilograms, now which is in contact with an even heavier box uh, B with a mass of 31 kilograms across a rough surface. Now, as shown in the diagram, the force is 134 newtons at an angle of that to the horizontal as it's been shown. Now, and it experiences, and each box experiences a frictional force of 45 newtons. Okay, so that's for both boxes. Um, that boxes accelerate horizontally. Okay, cool stuff. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Question 4.1 says draw a labeled free body diagram um, of for box A. Okay, so we're going to zoom into box A only. Okay, so what forces do we have? Okay, so if we start right here, we definitely have weight. Okay. Then with weight, we're going to have a normal force, F normal, okay, definitely having a force friction, which we know the value of 45. Uh, we also know that it has, it. Uh, the box A is in contact with box B right there. Um, so we're going to have the force of, uh, let's say, force of B on a, which is going to be the same as the force of A on B in the opposite direction. Um, and of course, we're going to have this applied force F. Uh, force applied. Okay. And that is for A. Okay. And then it asks for B. Okay. Let's do it in that color. So for box B, so question 4.2 is for box B. So now we're zooming in right there. Okay, so force uh, on B, okay, it's going to be very similar. We are going to have force friction, okay. Um, okay, we're going to definitely have weight. I'm going to have the normal force. Okay, and then, um, okay, so in this first diagram, we said that the force of A of B on A is to the left, so the action reaction pair is going to be to the right, which would be the force of uh, A on B. Okay, and those are all our forces, and that's for B, and that question's done. So we get ourselves well, five plus four marks, which has nine marks. Okay, then we have a definition, it says state Newton's second law. Okay, so Newton's second law says that um, when a net force acts on an object, the object accelerates in the direction of the net force. The acceleration is directly proportional to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Okay, so that's the long definition, but basically what's important from that is that we get that F net is equal to M A. Okay, uh, that's, and we get two marks for that definition. Question 4.4 um, says, use uh, Newton's second law to write the equation F net equals MA in terms of all the horizontal forces acting on A. Okay, so we are concerned about this free body diagram right here. Basically, we're going to say that the sum of the forces in the right direction is times is equal to the mass times the acceleration in that direction as well. <clears throat> okay, so we also know that this angle right here is 36 degrees, as that was given. Okay, so I'm going to break this, uh, this force uh, into components. It's going to be broken down into that component, and that would be F cos 36, okay, and that's a positive force minus of force friction, minus of force of the box uh, B on A. Okay, those are all the horizontal forces. Um, is equal to the mass 
of a times acceleration of a okay um, yeah so that would be in terms of the variables which it doesn't really tell us how so that I think would be fine as your answer but otherwise we can also write it as we know what the value of f is it's 134 newtons uh, cos of 36 minus the force friction which is 45 minus f of box b on a is equal to the mass of box a which was 23 kilograms times the acceleration of a Okay, either one of those should be fine. Okay, question 4.5 says state Newton's third law. Okay, another definition. Um, okay, so the definition goes, um, Newton's third law is when object A exerts a force on object B, object B will simultaneously exert an opposite directed force of equal magnitude on object A. Okay, and that's just how we get our action reaction pairs. Okay, uh, okay, question 4.6. Calculate the force that box B exerts on box A. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so let's start off with um, what we have. We already have an equation. Um, Okay, so let's start off with what we have. So we know that F net is equal to M A. Okay, and if we look at the system now, okay, so the concern is of the system. Okay, let me draw a free body diagram of the system. The system looks something like this. We have force friction total. We don't really care about weight. Uh, we have weight there and we have force normal. And then we have um, this force here, which is the force applied. And that's an angle of 36 degrees. Okay, so F net equals MA for the system. Okay, so uh, we're going to take that direction as being positive and that direction as being positive. So we have uh, F applied cos 36 minus our force friction total is equal to our mass total acceleration. Okay, so uh, 134 cos 36 minus the total frictional force is going to be the sum of that, which is 90, so minus 90 is equal to the total mass, which is going to be equal to 31 plus 23, which is 54 kilograms, times the acceleration. Okay, so the only unknown here is the acceleration. Solving for the acceleration, we get the acceleration of the system is equal to 0 0.34 meters per second squared, um, and it's going to be to the right. It's just right. Right. Okay, so now that we have now that we have the acceleration, we can use this equation right here. Okay, using this equation we, we get 134 cos 36 minus 45 minus force of the box B on A is equal to the mass um, times the acceleration which we just calculated. Okay, the only unknown here is the force of the box. So force of box B on A is equal to uh, 55,56 newtons. Okay, um, but the question asked to calculate uh, a box, uh, ex the force that box B exerts on A. So we have box B on A, uh, so B is going to exert a force on A to the left. Or does it just say magnitude? Let's see. No, so we need a direction, so the force is going to be left okay uh, yeah uh, okay her 4.7 okay so just for clarification the way I got um, the direction is because we're looking at this force right here and this free body diagram shows that the force is to the left direction and we got that correct uh, the maths solves that out okay 
Cool. So it says define the frictional force, another definition. So we've got six marks just from definitions here. Uh, so the friction force is the force that opposes the motion of an object. Okay, question 4.8 is up next. Okay, box A and box B are made of identical materials, yet each box experiences the same frictional force. Okay, that was given to us in the question. Use a suitable equation to help you explain why box A experiences the same magnitude uh, frictional force even though box A is smaller than B. Okay, so that makes sense. So the question is basically saying box A weighs 23 kilograms, box B weighs 31 kilograms. Both of them, however, experience the same frictional force. How can that be? Okay, so the reason for this, um, okay, so understanding the reason for this is the force friction is equal to mu times the force normal. Okay, this, comp uh, this force F is applying an additional component um, downwards, which increases our normal force that allows the force friction to get up to 45 newtons. Okay, but if we wanted to explain it, we can say that box A uh, experiences, okay, so box A experiences the same as box B, even though they have different weights, is because of, uh, okay, so we can say it is due to the vertical component of the applied force F. So we can say now uh, that the basically force friction is equal to mu times Fn um, where Fn is greater due to the due to the vertical component. Okay, and that's uh, that. We get ourselves three marks for that. Okay, so quite an interesting uh, question. Not too hard. Mostly uh, quite a lot of marks and definitions, which is a good thing. Okay, and in the next video we will be going over question five. Yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, guys.